This is the Inland DB100 diamond bandsaw. It's uh, a nice size and I tell you for the money you, you just can't beat it. It um, does a pretty darn good job on everything short of jasper and agate. Seems to have a pretty tough time with that but um, I've gone through one blade on it and I, I can tell you I've had quite a few different diamond wheels and diamond drill bits and stuff like that and I was very pleasantly surprised with the blade life that I got out of this. It really, uh, you, do, you do get your money's worth on these blades. They last a, a good long time. So that's the good news. Um, it broke fairly quickly and I'm going to show you um, where it broke and how I fixed it and actually it might be something that's worth doing to a brand new machine that you get to prevent it from breaking. When you get the DB100, there's not a whole lot of assembly required, but one of the things you do is you put this work surface onto the rest of the machine framework with these four screws here. Um, when I had gotten the work surface on and I was experimenting with the machine, I noticed that there was an offset here and the rocks were getting hung up on this offset. So I removed the work surface and I found that underneath this screw right here, that the nut had not been seated down correctly into the plastic base. So that was easy enough to fix with a pair of um, channel locks. Um, basically just squeeze that brass um, embedded nut surface down into the plastic, put it all back together and then it was nice, nice and flat and straight. Now here's the back of the unit and um, not too long after I started using it, this is the water container, um, I, I had a breakage here and uh, essentially where it broke was, you, you're looking at a uh, modification that I made to it, but this little piece right here um, has the arbor in it that the bearing of this upper wheel turns on and this rides up and down on these two springs to give the tension into the blades. Because of the um, vibration and whatnot in the unit, um, this ear broke off after a couple hours of use. It broke off right down here against this other main piece of plastic. So I took it all apart and um, bottom line how I fixed it was I, I made, I took three craft sticks and I laminated them together uh, with JB Quick to make a very, very strong support, strong and light, but also out of a material that I could have a better chance of bonding. Once that was set up in fairly short order, I took the regular JB Weld that takes overnight to set up, which I prefer very much for, for bonding uh, things that are under a lot of pressure and um, I basically clamped one, I, I put some JB Weld under this, I clamped it down with a, with a clamp, I positioned the other one, put JB Weld in all the spots that it needed it, clamped that down and let it set overnight. Uh, I have been using this unit now for probably five to ten times as long as I used it before it broke and this has been working uh, amazingly well. So you might want to consider doing, you know, just supporting this unit like this. You see there are two ears that, that go over these posts and, and there, there's not much meat in there that holds it against the main body of this sliding piece. And there's a huge amount of vibration on this unit and it, you know, jumps around and vibrates and everything, especially when you don't have a load on it. And that vibration obviously just cracked a joint there and um, and it came apart. So rather than jump through all the hoops of warranty and trying to get in touch with the factory and get uh, spare parts, I just fixed it like this and it works great. Now there's one more modification that you need to do when you do that because that piece right there will interfere with the back of the water tank. So I just took a coping saw and I cut off this little bracket here which is not used on this machine. This this water tank might be used on another product 
but it's not this little mounting bracket is not used on this machine so you can just go ahead and whack it off and then I took a file and filed it down relatively smoothly and now uh, it will completely clear that piece right there so that piece would have otherwise interfered with this now it can slide up quite easily you put the tank back on um, now that piece can slide up behind it without any problem there's plenty of, of room back there and the last high-tech improvement that I made on the unit was putting a couple rubber bands here to keep this silly top from bouncing off when it starts jumping around on the table uh, and it's still easy just to raise the lid here check your levels and put more water in when you need to so that's pretty much it by and large uh, now that I've got it working again um, great machine I use it all the time it's really good for hardnesses up to about uh, six I'd say but once it starts to get into seven and above it it really does struggle quite a bit you really kind of need either a um, trimming saw or a slab saw if the piece is larger but once you cut it down to a quarter of an inch or less even with your hard materials like um, like agate and jasper it, it'll do a pretty reasonable job but it's really nice with stuff that's five to six hardness it just cruises right through it it's it's really pretty neat so and you adjust the water as you'll see a video on there that you put your fingers like this and you just get a tiny little bit of a puddle on your fingers and that's the amount of water so the water in that tank will be uh, good enough for you know good half an hour 20 minutes something like that so anyway hope this was helpful you take care now